Giraffes are known for their long necks, plant-based diet, and spotted skin. But did you know that these majestic creatures also engage in battles? In this episode, we'll delve into the world of giraffe fights, including the creatures they fight against and what these battles look like. You'll get to witness some of the craziest giraffe attacks ever caught on camera and learn interesting facts about these animals. Come along for the adventure. Giraffe and Lioness Lions are probably the only serious enemies of adult giraffes. Most often, they attack when the giraffe is lying, standing, or clumsily bent, drinking water, or nibbling on grass. By the way, young giraffes are also hunted by other predators, such as leopards and hyenas. One must remember that a giraffe can strike in such a way that the attacking predator's bones are broken. Therefore, attacks on giraffes pose a significant risk to predators, and they need to soberly assess their abilities and strength if they don't want to be trampled. The footage captures a striking picture, and we should thank the tourists who managed to film this in one of the nature reserves in South Africa. One adult giraffe and five lions, will the spotted creature survive in such an uneven fight? Two of the lions got hold of the giraffe's hind legs, and a third jumped on its back. Their goal was to get the prey to the ground as quickly as possible. Try as they might, the big cats did not succeed, and the giraffe walked calmly with such a dangerous load. By the way, eyewitnesses emphasized that the giraffe had been defending itself for five hours. No wonder that the lions had simply run out of patience. The giraffe came out practically without injuries, not counting the wound on its limbs. The neck, on the other hand, was unharmed. By the way, it's not particularly surprising. The giraffe's skin is so thick that the Maasai people make shields from it, able to protect them from the attacks of various predators. Do giraffes have any obvious disadvantages? How else do they behave with different predators? And what else interesting things can be said about these long-necked creatures? Stay tuned to find out all the details because it's only going to get more interesting. Crocodile Tourists in Kruger National Park in the Republic of South Africa managed to film an incident that was unusual for them, but quite normal for such an environment. The video itself starts from the moment when the giraffe is already trying to get up from the ground. Apparently, this strange behavior of the animal attracted tourists. So the giraffe wants to get up on its feet and still falls down, then it becomes clear why it does not succeed. A huge crocodile comes into view and sinks its fangs into the victim's leg. Desperate attempts to escape from the jaws of such a large predator could never succeed. According to the guide of the tour group, People noisily supported the giraffe's attempts to free itself and were very worried about it. Eventually, the reptile let the exhausted giraffe go. However, the giraffe could not move because of its leg injury. Unfortunately, the giraffe was still waiting for a sad outcome apparently. Fate really can't be avoided. It miraculously escaped from a crocodile that fell into the jaws of another predator. It turns out that all this time, the lions were watching the fight closely and as soon as the crocodile crawled away, the lions immediately went to work. The next day, there was nothing left of the giant giraffe, the tallest animal in the world. Giraffes are the tallest land animals in the world and are found only in the savannas of Africa. Males can grow up to six meters tall, while females are usually a bit shorter. A male giraffe can weigh about a ton, with their hearts alone often weighing more than 10 kilograms. Although you might think that with such size, they're unlikely to be attacked, anything can happen in the world, and some animals dare to compete with giraffes. For example, during a watering hole. Giraffe, lion, and lioness. In the video, a lion can be seen walking past two giraffes. The predator tries to sneak up on the herbivores by deliberately walking around them to get behind them, but the mother giraffe is aware of the lion's intentions and turns around to face it. Without hesitation, the mother giraffe rushes out to attack the lion, grabbing it by the leg. The lion is able to kick the giraffe back, but the female and its cub flee. Unfortunately, the lion catches the baby giraffe almost immediately. Though unlucky, it should be noted that not all giraffes fall victim to lions. Giraffes have excellent eyesight, hearing, and a sense of smell that allows them to detect danger in advance. Their large stature also contributes to good visibility, 
as they can see their tall relatives up to a kilometer away. Though lions are not small animals, the giraffe is still much larger. The lioness tries to catch up with the giraffe, but fails at the coveted jump and ends up under the giraffe's hooves. It's worth mentioning that while giraffes can run up to 60 kilometers per hour, they can only move actively on a hard surface, bypassing marshy ground and rivers. In another scene, a group of lions take turns attacking a giraffe, trying to knock it down by digging their sharp teeth into the animal's legs. However, the giraffe easily manages to throw off the cats, though it doesn't try to hit them with its legs. The giraffes are social animals and live in loose, open towers, in which the number of individuals can vary from 10 to 20. Individuals can join or leave the tower at will. Giraffe and Hyena Once again, in South Africa's famous Kruger National Park, tourists witnessed an attempted attack by hyenas on a baby giraffe. The poor baby had a broken leg because of the injury. The cub fell behind its mother, and a clan of hyenas began to approach it. For them, a weak and wounded animal is like a holiday, just too easy prey. One of the hyenas came very close but did not dare to attack because the cub's mother was nearby. When the mother moved away, the predators made another attempt. Two hyenas jumped out of the bushes, and the cub was very frightened, running on three legs. The female noticed what was happening and rushed to meet it. She arrived very timely and scared off the predators. The hyenas, seeing it, reluctantly retreated and settled down in the shadows nearby. Interestingly, giraffes do almost everything standing up. Of all mammals, giraffes probably have one of the least needs for sleep, just 10 minutes to 2 hours a day. 2 hours a night to get a good night's sleep. I wish we could do the same. They stand to rest, but they can also sleep lying down. To do this, giraffes twist their long necks and place them on their hips but they do so when they're sure that there's no danger nearby. And if they want to sleep and can't lie down, they'll stand up. They have such powerful neck muscles that their head can be held upright in their sleep. When they drink water, they spread their front legs wide enough to be able to bend down sufficiently. Interestingly, they may not drink for several weeks because giraffes satisfy their need for water primarily with food. If a giraffe does drink, it can drink up to 35 to 40 liters of water at a time. Not only do giraffes have long necks and powerful legs, for example, an adult giraffe's tongue can be half a meter long. It's muscular, hard, and coarse by nature, made so that it would not hurt giraffes when they grab and tear leaves off the thorny acacia tree. This, by the way, is a favorite delicacy of the herbivorous giants. Giraffe and Giraffe Let's delve into the topic of giraffe fights. It might surprise you to know that giraffes, despite being known for their peaceful nature, can engage in fights with one another. These fights involve the giraffes swinging their long necks at each other, using them as their most powerful weapon to fight for dominance. The aim of the fight is to knock down the opponent. During the fight, the giraffes also use their horns to attack their rival with sharp, bony protrusions on their heads. Giraffes possess two small horns on their forehead, known as ossicones, which are covered in skin and hair. These horns are relatively short, but they are still used as a weapon during fights. In one particular instance, one of the giraffes swung its neck at its rival, but missed as the opponent skillfully dodged the attack. However, despite the miss, the giraffe couldn't keep its balance and ended up falling down. It's worth noting that giraffe fights are not as common as other animal fights, and they usually occur during the mating season when males compete for the attention of female. These fights are not usually lethal, and the giraffes don't usually get seriously injured. In most cases, the fight ends when one giraffe submits to the other, and the winning giraffe walks away with the right to mate with the female. Giraffe and Men Giraffes are usually considered to be harmless animals but here's an incident that proves otherwise. In an African nature reserve, a giraffe chased an off-roader carrying tourists, which left them terrified. The video footage shows how quickly the herbivore managed to catch up with the car, eventually outrunning it. After overtaking the off-roader, the giraffe stopped and turned around, possibly to intimidate the passengers. Fortunately, the animal did not use its huge neck to hit anyone. That's all for now.
Have you ever seen giraffes up close? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you soon.